There's a new epidemic sweeping the world, and it's not a virus. It's stress. Feeling stressed in today's society is pretty much inevitable. Everyone feels overwhelmed and overly busy. Over the past decade, many parts of society have been in economic upheaval. Job losses, downsizing and bankruptcies have cost people their jobs. This means one employee may be assigned the tasks formerly performed by two or three. People are working longer and harder just to maintain their economic status. So it's no wonder 40% of us lay in bed wide awake at night, plagued by the stressful events of the day. When people are stressed, they usually don't treat themselves or others well. They tend to self-medicate to cope with coffee, colas and energy drinks by day and a couple of drinks and a sleep aid at night. They overeat or they don't eat or they eat the wrong things and exercise quickly drops off their to-do lists. When someone is stressed, they often take their troubles out on other people too. This can manifest as a quick temper at work, angry or impatient responses or an attitude of, if I'm suffering, everyone else suffers. Does this sound all too familiar? The ability to manage your emotions and remain calm under pressure has a direct link to your performance. Research shows that 90% of top performers are skilled at managing their emotions in times of stress in order to remain calm and in control. The tricky thing about stress and the anxiety that comes with it is that it's an absolutely necessary emotion. Our brains are wired such that it's difficult to take action until we feel at least some level of this emotional state. So there's no escaping stress or magic pill to get rid of it. To beat the negative side of stress, you have two choices. Reduce the strain or boost your ability to weather its effects. Cutting pressure is ideal, but frankly, unlikely. So, it makes more sense to focus on improving your mental and physical ability to process stress. This course will show you how.